I don't know if people know this, but basically now you're able to deep fake. Like, I remember we watched this Tom Cruise thing where this guy was trying to look like Tom Cruise. And honestly, if I didn't know it was a deep fake, it would have fooled me. I wouldn't have thought anything of it. So here we go. Have you ever seen a truck sing? And yes, this is deep fake. I don't know yep. if you have noticed, but this is a type of deep fake called image animation that usually brings a 2D image alive by using a reference video to drive it like a puppet face. This I feel like especially go back, look, look at the Obama one. The Obama one is so fucking good. The image alive by using a reference video to drive it like a puppet face. This truck video was done through forcefully Holy putting shit. face landmarks onto the truck and animating oh, those landmarks. Oh, it was about that. It's, 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 it's a real one. Yeah, I was about to say, what the fuck? Through forcefully putting face landmark puppet face. Okay, so this is an actual video. Holy shit. Dude, that was about to freak me out. What the fuck? This truck video was done through forcefully putting face landmarks onto the truck mm -hmm. and animating those landmarks with this very famous video. When this meme was at its peak back in February 2020, it was based Somewhere on this there. research called FOM, short for First Order Motion Model for Image Animation. I remember whenever this came out, everybody started fucking making, making these of me and of every other streamer too. It was so annoying. So, more than two years have gone by, what do those few more papers down the line look like now? Starting with TPSMM, short for Thin Plate Spline Motion Model for Image Animation, published in March of 2022 and is basically the direct descendant of FOM. They okay. share very similar fundamental model structures where they use key point detectors to track the motion in the driving video and animate onto the input image. What is different, so however, like the is text where the nose is, where the eyes are, the eyebrows, and then it just kind of moves it based off of those different points. Okay, that that I mean that, that I feel like that's probably how you could have assumed that it would work. Is that TPSMM also takes good care of in painting the background, which is a major problem in FOM. The use of a key point detector allows multiple domains such as faces, body, and even cartoon animals to be easily animatable with a driving video. Oh my god. However, things like faces that need very high 3D coherency would be very difficult to execute or easy to notice some faults since the driving video has a lot of drastic motions and you can see the problem in the resulting animation. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, yeah, the, the more that somebody moves around, the easier it is to tell that it's fake. Oh, if we want it to be more domain specific, like a solution to animate just the faces with the driving video and has a mm -hmm. higher coherence and accuracy, the again short for depth aware generative adversarial network for talking head video generation provides a great way to approach this problem. The again was also published in March of 2022 and it proposed a few very interesting ideas to animate 2D faces with a video. First, okay. it has a model that was trained to extract 3D facial geometry and obtain a depth map from the driving video. Then a key- So it like basically takes a fucking JPEG, it turns it into a Photoshop document, and it adds a bunch of layers to it. And it can do that automatically. Holy fuck, man. Point detector is combined with- This is, by the way, people think that Biden already is one of these. There are a number of people out there that are tentative in their belief as to whether Biden exists or not. Like whether he's actually up there, whether like any of these videos are actually Biden or it's just some fucking super high high tech deep fake of him. Yeah, look it up. It's crazy. Map to generate more accurate facial key points. And with a cross model attention module to constrain the motion field in the end so the resulting faces don't go ham and are as realistic as possible. Makes this sense. approach yeah. is definitely much better than how TPSMM and its predecessor FOM performs, but is designed solely for animating faces and not anything else, which limits a bit on how you can use it.
Directly comparing the results from TPSMM and Dagyan, you can probably instantly tell that Dagyan performs much better on faces than TPSMM. Yeah, the facial sure. depth map helped keeping the facial structure intact and just overall performs much better. I also played around Bro, with- Bro, I cannot wait for this shit to ha- Like, cause the thing is, it's only gonna get better. And, and like, I can't wait for people to post videos of like, um, you know, different CEOs of companies announcing that the company's bankrupt and then shorting the stock ahead of time to make a bunch of money. Like, I, I like this is, yeah, because people are going to believe it. You've got to keep in mind. Remember whenever that one company lost a bunch of fucking money because the, uh, yeah, no, that's the first thing. I, yeah, like, you got to think about scamming people. That's the first fucking thing. And, and it's like, remember that one company that, like, somebody faked on Twitter and they said that, like, their insulin was free and their stock went down a lot? Yeah. Porn? Well, I mean, we're going to get that for sure. You can kind of, you can just assume that's going to happen duck in a lot more because its processing time is around three times mm -hmm. faster than TPSMM and it's pretty good at dealing with 3D rendering or 2D illustrations. I can sense that this has a lot of more meme potential even though the meme itself is quite dead already. Good. However, this is not the end. Just a few weeks ago, Samsung AI dropped an absolute jaw-dropping piece of work Let's let see. me just show you right away this research called mega portraits one shot megapixel neural head avatars achieved pretty much state-of-the-art results and Jesus. with its built-in facial super resolution which upscales from 512 to 1024 it can create this amazing quality image animation mega portraits not impressive. only can completely turn a 2d front face sideways by synthesizing incredibly believable novel views such as the Side Holy face. fucking shit, that's crazy. Oh my god. It can also this? coherently move the head positions without deforming. The method they use. Yeah, I've never seen any of them that are that good. Oh my god, looks kind of creepy. Yeah, no, it's going to look creepy at first, but then it's going to get better. Be able to achieve this is yeah, abandoning the key point detecting method. <laughs> Put and a bomb in the trash. Uses a latent expression descriptor to extract the driving video and apply it to the 2D image. Okay. In return, it achieves realistic facial animation and manipulation. So here I directly use mega portraits compared to Dakian. You can see that there is a clear difference in the quality, and not only that, the completeness of the head rotation is drastically more coherent than Dakian. But there are also a few things that mega Mega portraits fails at. Like, it does not preserve the original textures well when you apply it onto painting. That's true. You can tell that yeah. some of the synthesized mouth movements and jaw are more human like than what was initially drawn. Right. And on the other hand, Dagian did not suffer from this problem at all. Mega Portraits does a decent job separating the background and the head, though you can see that the hair flickers a lot and is not completely perfect. That's not a surprise. Overall, Mega I'm, I'm, Portraits yeah, is- Yeah, I mean, they're obviously gonna focus more on a person's face than their hair. In a few years, people are gonna make porn animation with your bald version. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna be able to do whatever they want. This is nuts. It's definitely still way ahead of its competition compared to the other two. It's just that you need to keep in mind what I've shown here are only from the demo they provided. Mega Portraits did not release their code, so I am unable to confirm if the quality is real or not. Okay. But for the other two, most of the demos I've shown are mine, and you can also quickly test them out too on Hugging Face for free, which is pretty amazing. So definitely take this chance to make the mainly. I think the craziest thing to me about this is the fact that anybody can do it. Like, if, if you are like... S seven years old you can figure out how to do this it's crazy men do the silliest thing it is always funny to show your alpha male co-worker or that one chat friend where they're doing the b to the b head bot from tiktok to blackmail oh their masculinity Ooh. but please don't use this to do the naughty things and you know what i'm saying or yeah i'll tell your mom that you are a bad kid and if you want to learn more about ai in general today's sponsor brilliant is, is literally nuts, the man. perfect place holy for you to start. shit Learning a new field of knowledge can be yeah, incredibly I, I love this difficult. Stuff. Well, first of all, navigating and understanding what is there to learn is already a very hard task. Questions like what is beginner friendly, mm -hmm. what subjects needs a foundation on what topic. Second, learning based on reading books, watching lectures, or YouTube videos can pose quite a huge mental strain and definitely not an efficient way to learn new things. 
So this is where Brilliant comes in. Their platform provides an interactive way for you to have hands-on lessons in the complex topics such as math, science, and computer science. Study has shown that interactive learning helps you learn six times more efficiently than watching videos and reading through text. Yeah, that's what people tell me whenever they fucking, they're like, oh, I don't want to look up the fight ahead of time. I just want to try it out and, and learn it and see it for myself. Like, yeah, I, I learned by doing it. It's like, yeah, that sounds great, but, uh, you know, now we're all fucking dead. Xbooks. Since it is interactive, yeah. you are able to learn more actively instead of accidentally falling asleep during a two hours lecture that you found on YouTube. Brilliant provides a very wide range of subjects and topics where you can easily dive in or follow a path to master a STEM field that you are interested in or obligated to pass in. From basic algebra to advanced multivariable calculus, from programming with Python to artificial neural networks, Brilliant can basically be your personal tutor throughout your whole high school at this point. Back in my high school days, I actually used Brilliant to study maths because it was so much nicer than staring at badly designed textbooks where they would go in a loop explaining what is complex numbers with complex numbers. So if you're looking- I, uh, uh, we never really learned anything about math that much. Uh, like, they tried to teach us, but like, nobody wanted to listen. What we would do is we would like bang on the wall, and then the other, the other people on the other side would bang back on the wall. And that's about all we do in math. I had to learn math in college. It sucked. But in high school, yeah, we just got that fun. Looking for an intuitive way of learning, Brilliant is definitely the place for you. Join now with millions of people learning on Brilliant with a special offer I got for all of you. Check out the link down below in the description where you can get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 of y'all will also get 20% yeah. off an annual membership. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, that's it for this video. Big shout out to Andrew Lascellius, Chris Ledoux. Dan Kennedy and many others that support me guys. through Patreon or YouTube. If you like my videos, you already know what to do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So I have to say that I do think these deep fakes and the way that they're going to affect just like how people see things is probably good. Because fundamentally, what is this doing? It's make pe it's making people question what they're reading. And I think that online and just like in general nowadays, not enough people question what they're reading. As soon as they see something that they agree with or something that's like crazy to them, they're like, wow, oh my God, this is true. Or like, I, and, and then now you've got all this stuff. It's like you have to have like seven different layers of like thinking in order to process if the person you're even talking to is real. So I love these fucking videos. I'm going to keep watching more of them. I, uh, I don't know why. I just think that the Have AI stuff is like very, sim? very interesting. And I do hope that they continue to make it uh, even more complex and stuff like this.